Live from the heart of New York City, it's the morning show with Mike and Juliet. And tired of going to work, MJ investigates those at home careers that sound so appealing. Still to come, would you rather work from home? MJ investigates how to avoid getting scammed choosing an at home career. Next, tired of commuting? We reveal the best at home careers for making money. Oh, look at all these New Yorkers heading off to work on their morning commute. Do you hate your job? Do you want to not commute anymore? Do you want to just stay at your house? Don't want to leave that home of yours? There are more than 14 million Americans who get up every day, go to their jobs, and never leave their home. And with predictions of the economy getting worse and worse, more people are thinking about making money with an at-home career. You put your life on the line for it. It is exhausting and hard to do. And not one day goes by without bad bosses in your face about it. You've got to come up with something better. We are talking about the jobs we perform every day because there is no escaping the fact we all have to find a way to hack out a living. But what if our careers were headquartered at home? where the money was marvelous, the hours on the honor system, and the office drama eradicated. Well, more and more, working at home is the way to go. But you have to know the ones that are scam jobs from those that are dream jobs. We have examples of bogus home careers to avoid at all costs, and examples of the most popular home careers that actually pay. Joining us now is a woman who does have a at-home career, Lisa Hammond. Hi, Lisa. Hi. Now, Lisa lives on a farm in my home state of Kansas. That's right. You have three children yes. on that on that farm. Yes. But what's your at-home job when you uh, come in from milking the cows? When I come in from milking the cows and cleaning out the barn stalls, I sit up at my home office and I'm a certified agent. I process calls for infomercials. So when you're sitting at home and you yeah. like what's on the screen and you make that call, you're yeah. calling me sitting at home in my manure-covered boots. <laughs> <laughs> so if I want that mighty putty, that's right. <laughs> I call and it's you that's going to pick up the phone. That's right. The call goes through its call center. It's routed to me, and I answer you. Okay. Now you used to work with that the Walmart. Right. Are you making more money at home than at Walmart? You're not going to believe it. I make more money working very part time at home, just whenever I want to. Why? Commute, commute. It's all about commute. By the time I had fuel, daycare, clothes, you name it, uh, I make more money part time. But Walmart gave you benefits. They gave me benefits. That's 401K. right. They gave me traditional benefits, things like that. I have other benefits. I get to choose when I work. If I want to work third shift this week, oh, I'm man. third shift. First shift next week. First shift. Take yeah. a couple weeks off for the kids. Done. No problem. And again, you can smell like manure. And exactly, and you know that's money. a benefit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you smell pretty good today. Thank though, you. So I washed. I out. showered. Yeah. Uh, did you look for these at-home jobs online ever? I did. You do Google searches, you come up with scams right and left. But I kept looking around on bulletin boards, doing my own research. Mm -hmm. Liveops.com kept coming okay. up. Nothing negative about them. We'll tell you about the scams in the next segment. But okay. uh, Gail here probably has a job for you because she's helping about forty thousand people around America that's with exactly. with at-home jobs. Congratulations to that. Most of your 40,000 jobs that you've placed, what are they doing? Um, we place virtual administrative assistants. And what a virtual assistant is, is she is, or he, could mm -hmm. be a he, is an administrative assistant that works from their own home office. Why would a company want somebody they couldn't see? The, the cost savings, it's huge. We just did a study of our own company. We're 100% virtual. If we put all of the people that we have in a bricks and mortar office and worked that way, mm -hmm. it would cost us about eight times more than it does to have all of these people working from their own homes. Flexible hours again. Oh yes, just like Lisa said. But why Absolutely. couldn't I just lie about the amount of hours I'm working? You know, you could, but it's, it's on your honor. Um, and, and a client is going to notice. Mm -hmm. If you mark down three hours for something that, that most people know are, are going to take five minutes, they're going to know. Yeah. yeah. How much education do I need to be work with you? You just need to have good skills. You need to have good typing skills, good phone skills, 
high school education is plenty. In 10 seconds, what's the, the benefit? Of, I, I don't get benefits by working at home. You don't, but again, um, more, more statistics for you. Uh, on average, our virtual assistants save 23 days per year by not playing in traffic. This was a study done by Undress for Success. Okay. Uh, they also don't put out approximately 1.79 metric tons of CO2 into the air. Gotcha. So, Please put more of those stats on our website at certainly. show.com. When we come back, what to avoid when looking for an at-home career. There are a bunch of scams out there, so be careful. And still to come, those miniature horses. Oh yeah, we are back here in New York City, Midtown Manhattan for the morning show and our investigation of at-home careers. Right now, let's shift our focus to the scams because they're out there. How to avoid them. Here with the, is the president of the Better Business Bureau of Metro New York, Claire Rosenzweig. In our audience is a uh, work-from-home scam victim, Jeff Berger. And back with us is Lisa Hammond, who likes her at-home career there in Kansas. And the CEO and founder of Team Double Click, Gail Buskey. Hey, Jeff. Uh, what were you looking for when you went online to find an at-home job? Well, I was looking for more money. <laughs> Who isn't? <laughs> and so what'd you find? Um, well, I found an ad on America Online, which uh, promised for $99 to show you, quote, uh, how to make enough money to think your friends would think you won the lottery. And all you had to do was follow instructions. It was very simple. Did you put in the $99 you gave Well, uh, they did offer a money-back guarantee, so yes, I did. Okay, I you go in there, oh. what'd they link you up to? Um, they said that you had to go to a web development firm and uh, spend $250 more, no. and then if it didn't work out for you, that you'd get your $99 back. Jeff, tell me you did not spend the $250. No, I didn't. Okay. Big red flag. That's one of the scams. And, and Claire, give us some more. Well, exaggerated claims. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds too good to be true. It probably is. Um, but the most important thing is, why would you give money to a potential employer? Yeah. They're supposed to pay you, not the other way around. It is a cliche. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably yes. is. But if you're desperate and if you really want to believe it, sometimes you just don't see that. But never, like Jeff did, never give money up front. Never give money up front if you can possibly help it as a precondition of employment. Mm -hmm. All right. In the cases here, these are great stories, but these are few and far between. Oh, they are? Very few and Absolutely. far between. Lisa, how much money are you making? I'm making 9 to $18 an hour. With the at-home job. Right. 9 to 18 an hour. Right. What were you making at Walmart? Kind of 40000 a year. 40000 a year. And 80 hours a week. Mm -hmm. But you know, some of these places have websites. And you look at a website, man, that's fancy. This must be a legitimate company. Yeah. Scammers are really good at putting up websites that look terrific. Uh, you know, and again, here, everything that these folks did um, it has nothing to do with giving money up front. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, the work that uh, you're doing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, there you were, a, you were an independent contractor, you are an independent right. contractor. Right. Basically, you want to ask lots of questions. Mm -hmm. If, you know, just treat them like you would any employer. Ask lots of questions about what kind of job is it, how am I going to get paid, what's the deal here? Do your own research yeah. as an employer. Yes. Look Absolutely. at BBB.org, always. See what mm -hmm. we say about a company before you give them money. Gail, we want to give false hope here. You have 40,000 people that have gone to your website and exactly. found jobs. Mm -hmm. This is something new, though. We couldn't have said this two years ago. Uh, maybe two years ago, but not five or ten years mm -hmm. ago. And still, you know, all of this goes nowhere, too, if, if, the, if clients and customers aren't willing to take a crack at, at having right. someone work from home. Definitely. Yeah. Your website's going to get a lot of hits today because there are a lot of people sitting on their couches watching this show that mm -hmm. don't want to go to work today. For more information <laughs> about how to build your at-home career, log on to our website, mnjshow.com.